I just want to see. Is it possible? Are they doing anything? Can you even kill it? Oh, I'm afraid somebody's going to die. Don't die, guys. It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Mark Scorched Earth on the Poopy Evolved Scorched Earth server. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. We're back doing stuff and things. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me today, guys. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button to show your support, peeps. And if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. So, we're back doing this stuff. Uh, we're on the, the Vanilla Scorched Earth server. We started doing new modded Scorched Earth, which is so much fun. It's so nice to see something new. It's so nice to do some new stuff and things in Ark. You know, now that the updates are coming a little bit slower, it's just the thing where, you know, we, it's got to keep it fresh, man. You got to keep it fresh. So if you guys haven't checked that out yet, we dropped a couple of videos on it already. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I like that it's different, man. I love that. With modded, it's just kind of more about like just having fun. Like you can just log on and do all sorts of cool, crazy, and fun things. And so far, it's been pretty dangerous over there. It's been pretty scary. Hopefully, we might be over the hump. I don't know. We're using a lot of mods this time that are very like in development. So stuff doesn't work right. And stuff is like kind of like in development. Like elemental dragons aggro range is uh, like viewing distance and stuff like that. So. It's been a little bit of an adventure, but yeah, so anyway, we're back over here today. We're going to do some stuff and things with our Vulture Armor Army, finally. I want to get them leveled up a little bit more, so I thought we would go ahead and take a look right now and see. Oh, we got the hot egg action right over there. Hold on here, buddy. Would you go like one of these? You go like one of these? You go like one of those? Give me these Vulture Eggs, baby. Do we got any more? You know what? We got to probably just move everybody around. No, that's not what I did at all. What I did was hit FF. Yeah, that's... <laughs> all right. You got any eggs down inside of here? You got any eggs down inside of here? All right. Looks like we don't have any more. So what we got to do is go ahead and just get these guys leveled up a little bit. Looks like we need a little melee damage right there. What do you got going on over here, man? A little melee damage right there. Uh, and, and is everybody else already good to go? These guys are kind of getting high level. They're not like automatically leveling up anymore. All right, come with me, little buddy. So what we got to do next, actually, before we go ahead and level these guys up, cycle aggression to, uh, no, not attack your target. No, that's what we want. Aggression to aggressive, like this. So we want to go ahead and level these guys up a little bit more, and then I want to just take them out into the desert and see how it all works out. I have a feeling it might be a bit of a disaster. I think we might lose some guys, but... We've got to test their vulture army. You know, we've got to know. Is it an army? <laughs> Can it even do a thing? They're pretty fearsome when they're on your, like, when you're out in the wild and you're doing stuff and things. They're pretty fearsome. So, I have no idea how this is going to kind of work out for us. But like I said, at first, to start off with, we've got to get some hot level up action. I want to go ahead and drop these eggs in here first. And then while we go out there and do this, I'm just going to go pick up some guys on the derp. And um, then we will go ahead and drop them in the, in the taming pen, or pardon me, in the birdcage. And see if we can't get some hot level action. But while we do that, I wanted to talk about something. You know what? This, it's kind of funny because, yeah, of course, I record videos. That kind of This kind of sucks. I'm kind of going to break the fourth wall for you guys. But, I, of course, I always record videos like a day in advance. You know what I mean? Like I record the day before because it's impossible to do it live. You have to do it in advance. So, um, I'm a level eight. What? That's not even a mouse on a wheel. What? Level eight? Well, we'll just do it. It'll just take a second and they'll, they'll just annihilate this guy. Oh, is something break over there? Oh, no, it didn't. It's just not rendering in. All right, let me see here. Oh, did it get out? You're kidding me, man. Why is it so hard to drop stuff? There we go. All right, let's see how this is. Let's see how this is going. Oh, yeah, they're doing it. And it's over. That was pretty quick. You know, there's a red drop over here, too. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right, I'm going to try not to get too distracted and actually have a conversation with you. Um, so... I record videos a day in advance, and right now, um, Hurricane Matthew is coming to uh, Florida, and it's going to hit the east coast of Florida. Um, by the time you guys see this, it'll already have hit. Oh, Ramshack rocket launch stuff and things. Blueprint for wind turbine. <laughs> yeah, I already got that. So um, it will be hitting us, and it's uh, at this point in time, it looks to be pretty bad. Um, it's a Category 4 hurricane. Um, that means I don't know exactly what it means. I think it's winds uh, like in excess of 120 miles per hour, which is unbelievable. Like that's really crazy. Um, so it's going to be really, really scary. Now I'm getting a lot of people, obviously, uh, well, we're getting a lot of people that are leaving some really nice, um, tweets and stuff like that. Just saying, be safe and all of that. Um, and thank you guys so much. You know, I really do appreciate that stuff. Um, I will start off by saying that it doesn't seem to be something that's a huge concern. What is up with this? Oh, you know what it is? I think it's that stupid lip. 
Whoa, uh, I missed it. Um, I don't think it's going to be a huge concern for us. I live on the west side of Florida. And the hurricane is going to hit the east side of Florida, or is projected to. Now, like I said, by the time this video comes out, stuff and things could have completely changed. We don't know. Like, I'm not a weatherologist by any stretch of the imagination. And most of the weatherologists that are out there, you know, they also don't really know exactly what's going to happen. Well, we got some thorny dragons over here. But what about... I thought I saw a wolf. Haha, -ha, secret wolf! You think you could stop? Wait, that's not a secret wolf. Those are those are flowers. <laughs> There's the secret wolf. So um, even the weather men don't really know how to predict the weather. Stop hitting me. And so we don't really know what'll happen. Most likely, they use like historical data, and uh, you know they know kind of like how storms work. And so what they think will happen is once the storm hits the east coast, uh, the east side of Florida, get them boys. It'll just continue to like veer northeasterly direction, supposedly. So it should be fine for us. Obviously, that's great for us. There is a huge amount of people on the east coast of Florida and in, I mean, I don't even know where else has got hit by this already. Haiti got hit. Um, there's been a huge amount of people. There's been people who have lost their lives and there's been, I mean, people displaced from their homes and their homes have been destroyed and it's unbelievable. It's like a terrible disaster. Um, and it is really, really scary, man. It's super scary for me, especially, you know, we just came down here. Um, and it's been a long, long time. A lot of people say, you know, you hear this a lot. I think people say, you know, if you didn't want to get hit by a hurricane, why do you live in Florida? Well, you know, I mean, that's true to a certain extent. Vidi, how did you get out? That's true to a certain extent. You know, it is true that that's the case, but you know, um, hurricanes haven't hit Florida or hurricane this big hasn't hit Florida since I think 2005. Um, and so, I don't know. It's just the thing, you know, um, it, it happens sometimes depending on where you live and it's unfortunate and scary. So, um, I'm hoping everything will be okay. I'll keep you guys updated as to what's going to, going to happen and going on and stuff like that. Um, I will, if you want to know more information, you can be following me on Twitter. That's a good place because you'll see all sorts of stuff. I'm sure I'm going to be posting some stuff on Instagram too. So follow on Instagram stuff and things. And then are you still giving everybody the boost? All right. He still is. So that's just a little weather update about the stuff and things that are going on with Hurricane Matthew. Fingers crossed, you know, like I said, you never know what's going to happen. It could hit the East Coast. Normally, once a hurricane makes landfall, it starts to get weaker, like really, really quickly. Uh, hurricanes gain power from being over water. So um, hopefully it hits and it really quickly peters out. And I got to tell you, um, I've been thinking a lot about uh, the people that are going to be affected by this, have been affected by this and are going to be affected by this. And I really hope that everybody makes it okay. There's a lot of people who are evacuating. Um, it's really not a joke, and it's really not like it's a no-joke storm. It's a natural disaster. It's really going to be crazy. So I hope everybody stays safe. If you're in the Florida area or Haiti or anywhere like that, I really, my thoughts are with you. I, I really hope that, that you're all right. Um, yeah, so that's just what's going on with that. I'm going to go ahead and keep feeding these guys some stuff and things, trying to get them leveled up. Then we are going to take them out into the world. And see what kind of damage, hot damage action we can do with the Vulture Army. Hey, we're back. Still leveling these guys up a little bit. But I just was doing some fun stuff. And I thought I'd show you guys. I don't know. I was just thinking about, like, flying on, a, like, a really fast RG in Ark is so much fun. Because you can just do, like, amazing stuff like this. Like, it's just so cool, man. It's so amazing to be flying. And then also, one of the other things I wasn't really thinking about is instead of dropping these guys in, I mean, I can just go like this. And just drop them, like, in here. Attack him! What is going on? Attack him! You're supposed to be on aggressive! Of course, this has never at once happened in the history of being aggressive until... There we go. I don't know what's going up with that. What's going on with that? They should be aggressive and just automatically attacking. I'm not really sure, but I just thought I'd show you guys, like, just flying up here and doing stuff with things. It's so much fun, man. I love this. I was wondering... I was thinking about modding it a little bit, too. It'd be so cool if... Where did you go? Oh, I got him. Ha ha ha! It'd be so cool. I know in, um... In the last modded series, we had like a Star Wars mod. I'd love to see just like a Jets mod, man. It'd be so cool just to fly around inside of this world. It's so neat. So yeah, we just fly down inside of there like so. Are they waiting to get attacked? Where did it go? He's right there. Yeah, they're not. They're not aggressive. That's so weird, man. Here, let me help you guys out. If I can get over there. Here, let me help you guys out. Get aggressive. Oh, now you're mad. Now I see how it is. Now you're finally aggressive. So I'm a little bit confused. 
The aggression is set for aggressive. Targeting distance. Oh, targeting range lowest? That shouldn't be that low. Yeah, I don't know why. I wonder why they're not attacking. But they are gaining levels. They're gaining levels, like, really well, actually, to be honest with you. Of course, we're not going to see any right now because I just leveled them all up. Um, there, there's the one right there. So, everybody's doing pretty good. We got almost 2,000 HPs on that guy. And I'm using our Listro to go ahead and help us to gain XP Zors. But yeah, so stuff and things are going good. I don't know. I feel like we could probably take them out into the wild right now. I don't... I guess we can. I guess we should, shouldn't we? So, let me just make sure. I think we're going to go out on the derp. I know these guys are going to be fairly slow. So, I want to make sure I've got my buttons correct. I think we're going to switch all these guys to... We're going to we'll probably just whistle neutral. And that's going to cycle their aggression to neutral. Okay. Aggression to aggressive. Wait, did I not have them on aggressive? I thought... I don't know now. Now I can't remember. All right. So, let's go ahead and start getting the follow going. See if we can get all these guys. What's this? Sabertooth cache. Okay. Like so. One of these. One of these. One of them. Do I have everybody? No. You're on me now. Is everybody following? Is that a thing? All right, everybody's following. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't even believe this. I'm so nervous. I'm nervous that they're going to die. I'm nervous that some of them are going to die. Hopefully they don't block us. And then how fast are you? Well, yeah, they're not terribly fast. They're not terribly unfast. Um, if we want to go to the desert, it's going to be a minute. That's for sure. It's going to take us a while to get out there. I kind of do want to go straight to the desert, too. I'm a little bit concerned about getting hit with... Um, Having a, a rock elemental come up because I know these guys won't be able to do anything to it. Let me see here. Can we get an attack on this guy? You guys with me? Let me see here. If this wolf attacks, then these guys are all in neutral. It should go ahead and annihilate him. Are you doing stuff and things? Get him, boys! One of them's slow. A couple of them are really slow. <laughs> That's not good, man. You need to get faster, Vichy. All right, let's head out into the desert and see what we can do here. All right, test number two. Get a terror bird. Easy peasy, level 44. What about this thorny? Thorny, you gonna get horny thorny? There it goes. Man, they just annihilate everything. I don't even think, I can't wait to get him to the desert. I wanted to just kind of like test the waters. So I wanted, I said I was gonna go to the desert, but I wanted to just test the waters. I know there is a rock golem around here. So we have to be a little bit careful, but it looks like so far, like, they're really, really powerful, man. They're really powerful. Like, there's nothing that they can't attack and kill almost instantly. Um, it makes me wonder about, like, I'm sure, obviously, if we were to fight a Wyvern Wyvern or whatever, they would all catch fire or, or get lightning to death and it would be really quick death. Um, but I, I don't know. I wonder about the Death Worm? I guess the Death Worm probably has an AoE attack, and so it would most likely be pretty devastating. But it still would be interesting to see. I don't know. We'll see what happens once we get out there. All right, guys. This is a bit bigger of a test. We're not in the desert yet, but now there's Titan Monirna over here. There's a bunch of Sabertooths. Let's see how this works out. There's the Titan Monirna. Sabertooth, Dire Wolf, Titan Monirna, Sabertooth, Sabertooth, Titan Monirna. Dire Wolf! You guys, it was so quick. Like, that was unbelievably fast. Like, these guys are really powerful. They're really, really powerful, man. Like, I couldn't even imagine. I, I can't even imagine, like, what it would be like. I wonder if I should just put them on aggressive when we get out here. This is going to be crazy, man. The death and destruction is going to be unbelievable. And we're back. In what I think is going to be our first, like, kind of prolonged battle. There's a lot of guys over here. What we're going to do, we don't have them on aggressive. We just have them on follow, and we have them on attack our target. So whatever hits us is probably going to get annihilated. There we go. One of those. One of those. Look how fast it is, man. It's crazy how quick these guys kill everything. See you guys later. All right, we got those two guys. There's just nothing they can't kill in an instant. Oh, my gosh. Hit me, man. You want to get some? There's a level 80 Arthropleura. Get him, boys. 
level 40. There's another mantis over here. We gotta go kind of slow. That's the only thing. Oh, ooh, that's not good. Okay, there's a Wyvern Wyvern. I don't think we're ready to try to take on a Wyvern Wyvern. I just don't think that's a good idea. Oh, baby, come on, it's Vulture Army, take him out. It's just like too easy, man. This stuff is too easy. I don't know about, I also turned a disabled victim item collection on all of these guys and I have them on follow, which I thought meant they wouldn't harvest corpses. I'm a little bit confused as to why they're still harvesting all the corpses. Cause every once in a while, what I'm ending up having to do is stop and drop all their inventories, drop their inventories because the guys like this, like I bet you any money vivacious here. I bet you any money he's overburdened. That's why he's moving so slow. Cause he's our highest level guy. And obviously he's like really, really fast. So I'm thinking that that's the case. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that stuff. Um, it's a little bit wacky, a little bit different. So, but everybody's still here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, wait, is that eight? Is, it, is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, do we lose one? <laughs> Hold on, seriously, stop moving around so I can count you. I think we lost somebody. No, did we lose somebody? Uh. Everybody land. We have to take a count. There should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's only eight. Oh, oh no. Oh no. How do we lose somebody? This doesn't make any sense. All right, everybody land so we can take a look at inventories. Everybody needs to stop for a second. Okay, are you still collecting items? Look, they're still collecting items. I don't understand. Why are they doing that? Stop doing that. So we're going to have to empty out their inventories for sure. But I'm pretty sure that we lost somebody. Of course, I have no idea what everybody's names are. So I don't know how it is that uh, we can actually track who it is that we lost. Why you got your head in the sand, man? We got to level up some of these guys too. We might as well pump HPs. I'm just going to pump some health on them all. No, you didn't have a level. Did you have a level? Did you, you had a level, didn't you? No, you didn't have a level. All right, hold on here. Let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is only eight. Are you one of my guys? No. How is there only eight? We had nine. Did one, did one, I don't, I don't even know. I don't want to have to go all the way back to the base. <sighs> we can't, we can't go all the way back to the base. I was thinking about it. I'm like, we could try to go all the way back to the base, but along the way, I don't even know if we'd be able to find our guy or what would happen if we did find our guy. Like, and he just like grouped up with the rest of the flock and then we just didn't see where he went. Where could it be? Maybe he's stuck all the way back at base and I never even brought him out. That's probably what happened. Let's count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Definitely, definitely, definitely lost somebody. Hey, we're back. And this is how you level up a vulture army, ladies and gentle peeps. You just walk around on your RG, wait for stuff and things to hit you one time. This is perfect. Hit me. It's all over for you. See you later, bye. I've just been doing this for like, I don't know how long now. Everybody's been leveling up. I got a couple of guys that are over 2,000 HPs now. Look at it. Peace out. Peace out. They just annihilate everything in the path. Now, I'm a little bit terrified. I will be honest with you. I'm a little bit terrified that we're going to come across a death worm. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't hit one so far. I've been kind of weaving back and forth on the map for quite a while now, and I haven't hit one. I have mixed emotions about this, guys. Part of me really wants to see what'll happen. Is that a death worm? No. Part of me really wants to see what will happen um, if the guys attack a death worm. Part of me thinks they'll just die. They'll all just die. But they're so powerful. They just destroy everything that they come in contact with. Now, of course, everything that we're coming in contact with is nowhere near as powerful as a death worm. Um, but it is pretty powerful. Now, as I've been going around, I've kind of been looking underneath the world. You can see death worms, or at least the last time I checked, you could. I don't know if they changed it. They change things all the time. They don't tell anything to us. But, um, yeah, so I haven't hit any so far. We're just kind of leveling up. Every once in a while, I um, I go ahead and uh, drop everybody, make everybody stop so that we can drop everybody's inventories and make sure that no one's getting, like, super burdened. So, but I guess we're just leveling up and everybody's getting levels like people all these guys are getting levels It's happening slowly, but surely everybody is getting levels. So Yeah, I think I'm just gonna continue to do this. I kind of want to see how powerful we can get. Are you guys gonna attack that guy? He hit me. Aren't you guys gonna be my be my defense? That's what I'm talking about. So I think we're just gonna continue to do this for a while I kind of want to see how high we can get all these guys once we start getting over like 2,000 HPs 
if we can get even more than that, like, I don't know, and everybody's up around like 700 uh, melee damage, that's really powerful. Like, 700 melee damage is powerful for anything. Um, I am so scared there's going to be a death worm somewhere, man. Are you guys attacking something? And we still haven't found our other guy. I have no idea what happened to number nine, whoever it is that is gone. I'm going to guess that that guy got stuck back at base somewhere. We're going to have a look for it here in a minute. But now that I got everybody out, I don't want to have to go all the way back to base and uh, try to find that one guy. Once we kind of get some more hot level action going, I'll probably go back and see if I can't find him. But all right. So we're going to continue to level up. Let's see how powerful we can get these guys. Help me. Quick. Help me. And we're back with the Vulture Army. I was getting a little bored to be down in the desert. There really isn't anything in the desert that the Vulture Army can't, like, instantly destroy. The Vulture Army is strong. I took it inland a little bit here and fought some Parasers. I fought, like, level 90 Parasers, which take, like, a really high-level RG, a lot of hits in order to kill, and they were just annihilating it. So I thought we would try to find something even bigger. Now, a Wyvern Wyvern, I'm a little bit afraid. I think this is the Breath Weapon just going to annihilate these guys. So I found this T-Rex, finally, finally found a T-Rex, and it is level 44, so it's not a super high level T-Rex, but it is, like, not a bad high level T-Rex, so let's go ahead and see. What are you doing over there? Oh no, we have one that has brain worms! Vivacious has the brain worms! Oh, he must have conquered his brain worm! Oh, amazing, Vivacious conquered his brain worm! Alright, let's go ahead and head over here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and let it, let it do it, let it do its thing. You guys do your thing, man! Look how amazing it is! That's it! It just takes an instant! Like, it's so lackluster because they're so powerful! There is nothing these guys so far in Scorched Earth can't annihilate except for Rock Golems and Wyvern Wyverns, which I'm assuming is just gonna be a bad idea. Like, I don't know. I know some of you guys are like, go fight a Wyvern Wyvern, but I don't want to kill all my guys. I worked really hard, like, to mate all these guys. It took, like, episodes to get them all ready to rock and roll. So, I don't want to just go and have them all die in an instant. Um, it would be pretty fun. It might be fun. It could be a thing. And I don't think that they would take out a rock golem either. I don't know. Maybe if we found, like, a really low-level one, we could try it out. But let me show you the stuff. I mean, you guys know, like, Parasers don't do lots of damage. But they are pretty powerful. So, as far as, like, uh, how many HP zords they have. They have a lot of HPs. So, let's go ahead and see if we can't make our way down here. Come on, buddies. Come on, little guys. All right, we'll just come down and attack it, and then they'll all come in behind us, and they'll save our butts. And we're attacking a Parasitor. What's up, guys? Why aren't you attacking it? Attack the Parasitor! Look, that was, like, so fast. It's crazy. These guys are crazy amazingly powerful. We can just walk over here. These Terror Birds will attack us. Ready? See you, Terror Bird. It's been nice knowing you guys. No, it's fine. No, it's totally fine, guys. Get annihilated by my vulture army. The only problem that they that I have is that they're really slow. Um, they're like really, really, really slow. Now, of course, obviously, Derp is like super fast. He's like one of the fastest orgies in the world, in the known world ish. Um, and so he's super, super quick. But you can see, like, I can barely even use my regular fly speed, or these guys just can't keep up. And I have to. Um, I don't know what's going on with the item collection. If I know, I could be wrong. I could, totally could be wrong. But if I remember correctly, if something follows you, it shouldn't collect corpses. And I think what's going on is that um, it's because they're vultures. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe they changed it. But as far as I know, last time I was, I uh, played Ark, if uh, something was unfollow, um, it didn't collect corpses. But these guys are collecting corpses. So we're very slowly making our way back home to base. We've done a great job with our Vulture Army, I'm telling you. It's been an amazing day so far, just going around killing basically everything on the server. And I feel kind of bad. Like, I feel like it kind of stinks that... Uh, I don't know. I would love to take out a Wyvern Wyvern. Like I said, I think we'll just kill them off. Um, or... Because I don't think they'll be able to catch it. That's the problem. That's the thing I think will happen, is that it'll, they'll, it'll fly around them in circles, and it'll just burn them up. And because they're so slow, they won't ever be able to get hits in on it. Um, but maybe, a, like, a low-level Rock Golem... I don't know. That might be a thing. Oh, what level are you, Paris, sir? 28. Pff, that ain't even a mouse on a wheel. Prepare to die. You guys gonna save me? You guys gonna save me? Are you guys gonna save me? Oh, they saved me. You guys saved me. Save me, guys. Good guys. I love these guys. And we're back. 
I just want to try this for a second on this level 16 rock golem. All right, let's see what they're going to do. I know they do unbelievably reduced damage, like ridiculously reduced damage. The damage is so super, super low. I just want to see. Is it possible? Are they doing anything? Can you even kill it? Oh, I'm afraid somebody's going to die. Don't die, guys. Go Vultures, are they attacking him? Are they even hitting him? Can he even hit them? I don't know. I don't think he hits them. Oh, look at him doing work. They're inside of him. Oh, baby. There's no way they can't kill him. Kill him, man. He's only level 16. <laughs> oh, they're, they are getting hit. They are getting hit. Oh, come on. Can you guys kill it? Take it to the limit. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm just so interested. I don't even know. It doesn't even look like much is happening, but I just want to see. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Kill him. Oh, they're taking damage. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no. What's the passive? What's the passive? Oh, no. What's the passive? Valiant, my most powerful guy. Whistle pass and fall, fall, fall. Oh, man. We lost two guys. We lost two. Oh, crazy, man. I can't believe they couldn't take him down. Oh, look how bloody they are. That was so good. We got guys out. And Valiant was our best guy. He was our most powerful vulture. Now, I know that they do like, it's like near no damage, but I assumed they just could maybe do some I don't know. I just was trying. We had to test it, man. It has to be a test. So, all right. We lost one vulture to just bringing vultures out for some reason. And then we lost two more. So we were at nine. We're down to six. We got six of our super guys here now. We got to bring them back to the base. And then hopefully we'll find one more. Hopefully we'll find the one that we lost. I don't know. We'll see. I think that that one's probably back at our base here. Hey, we're back at base. I was thinking one of our guys, one of our vultures would have been stuck behind something over here, but it doesn't look like that's the case. All right, guys, come into the, come into the birdcage. Oh my gosh. Well, we got a bunch of guys leveled up. We could probably do a little bit of mating and we could get some more of these guys if we wanted to. Um, I'm not sure how much more we'll do with our vulture army, but that was pretty cool, man. I had a really good time. There's like really, besides the rock golems and the, uh, and the, uh, women wyverns, there's nothing that your vulture army can't take. For, for on Scorched Earth, which is unbelievable. And if you really took the time to level them up a lot, a lot, and you got their speed up too, you could really have quite a thing going on here. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Thanks for hanging out with the Vulture. What are you trying to do to my junk there, buddy? All right. Uh, yeah. So um, make sure if you guys like the video, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button to show your support, peeps. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. May the stuff of things be with you.